Okay, you got the mobile home diva here coming at you with another tour. This beauty is the Power Stroke. And I'm really just so close in here, you can see the other home, that I can't, I'm trying to give you a good look at the outside of this home, but it's hard with all the shrubbery here. So maybe I can find a video of this home on the website. But the most important thing is what does it look like on the inside? So let's go in and see, shall we? All right, again, this is the power stroke. This is the door that I just entered. So you have your front door there. Beautiful, you have carpet here in the living room. Huge space in the living room. You got uh, woodwork there and a fireplace. You have a mantle above the fireplace and a space for your TV. Very good, very nice, love it. So this is the living room, and then over there is the dining room. So they are side by side, and they, over, they um, are open to the kitchen. Very nice. Let's go over here and take a look in the dining room. Get a good look over here, you have the wood floors. Over here in the dining room, that same woodwork is in the entire area in the dining room. Space for a huge table. Over here. Space for a huge table. That lens is dirty. Yeah, space for a huge table over here. The same woodwork is carried throughout. Love the wood beams or wood trim in this house. Kind of gives it a rustic look. There's the light fixture that I love. And it overlooks the kitchen. Huge, huge island and the island is Standalone, it doesn't have a sink or anything, and it actually has um, a granite countertop in the island. You have your wood trim on the island and space for at least two bar stools. Now, you have two tone cabinets in here because you have the black cabinets around the outer perimeter, but this is granite, you guys. This is a granite countertop here. Very nice. Love the open shelving in this area. The ship lap. Everybody doesn't like the ship lap. Um, it doesn't have to be in this house. You can order it without. I love the brick wallpaper. It's a nice contrast against the ship lap. I love the all the shelving in here in the open space. So you can put decor or dishes or whatever you like up top, whatever like you like down there. But you also have closed off cabinets. Now the island and this cabinet space is white. And then on the outer perimeter of the rest of the kitchen, you have the wooden uh, wood cabinets, similar to the wood trim on these feature walls. This house has a regular stove, not a ceramic cooktop. And you have lots of counter cabinet space. Very nice. Love the black hood over the black appliances and the window over the sink. So that's what your kitchen looks like. And from over here, I'll give you the view from the kitchen into the living room and the dining room. Very nice. Let's come around here and take a look at the uh, utility room 
huge utility room I can see already that it goes it's also off the master but you have your back door there washer and dryer goes there lots of space over here for for a mud room or a deep refrigerator or a desk just whatever you like but you definitely have a lot of space to work with in this utility room. Now this utility room also has a closet door. Let's see what it is. Oh great, you have a pantry in the utility room right off the kitchen. Awesome, so that even extends the storage from your kitchen into your utility room. And I was also thinking that you could actually put shelving over here for um, a, a, like an open pantry next to your deep refrigerator but you ha actually have a pantry in here so awesome see how big that utility room is nice use of space in there I love it and there's a door that closes if you have company so let's go take a look at the guest bedrooms so you have two bedrooms on this side guest bedroom number one let's take a look at the closet huge walk-in closet awesome huge walk-in closet in here and then very nice so that's guest bedroom number one Here's guest bedroom number two. You have another walk-in closet here. Guest bedroom number two. Very nice. Here is your guest bathroom. There's your towel, shower tub combination toilet. You have a sink and a vanity area in this guest bathroom. Love it. Awesome. So again, here's your dining room, living room, and your kitchen. The master bath is going to be off the living room on this side of the house. Master bedroom and bathroom. You have a huge master bedroom. Two windows. You have space for your headboard between if you have a maybe a queen could go in there. Before we go in the bathroom, I give you a very nice. And then this is your master bedroom. You have master bath. You have uh, linen closet space there. Two sinks and a huge mirror. Love the soaker tub. Love the shelving on either side. And I always love these tubs because I think that that's the perfect place to put my neck when I'm sleeping in the tub. <laughs> Very nice. Love the uh, wallpaper in here. And then you have your shower behind the door. And it has the rain shower shower head. Very nice. You have your master closet here. Huge, huge master closet. Huge master closet. I always appreciate when they bring the shelving all the way around. Because they're thinking about me and the space that I need when they do that. That's thoughtful. 
But yeah, this is a huge master closet. I love that it's not open. It has a door that can close. And I also love that the bath, the toilet is separate. Just enough space to handle your business. And then again, the utility room is off the master bedroom. So you can close that door for privacy or you can take your dirty clothes to the hamper or to the washing machine after a long day's work. Very nice. Very nice. I love the fact that they have this space here for your linen closet needs. Um, so yeah, this is a nice master bedroom. Love the openness of this house. I don't know if I personally like all of the wood um, in here. I think if I had that to match the cabinets, that would be enough. Um, it may be overkill in the dining room, but then again, you know, this home would be perfect for the right person. Somebody is looking for this. Um, so you can always order them these homes without the shiplap, without the wood. You can change the colors. Maybe you don't want black, you want stainless steel. You have a lot of options as a buyer. You don't have to buy what's on the lot. So keep that in mind. If you like the bones of the house, this house could be the house for you. I'll put um, the Wayne Fryer's information in the description box. Again, they don't post prices, not even on the website. So you would have to call them for pricing. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. I don't have to party to have fun, you see. I got different hobbies and that's all I need. Some say life is boring, but I disagree. Drinking, that's just wasting time. I'd rather.